you are placing yourself in bondage. And you may say, Uncle Kev, what are you speaking of? Look at the way I dress. Maybe you can't see me fully. Usually I wear sweatpants, sweatshirts, you know, pretty much Walmart clothes. You know, I try to find <laughs> deals and so I don't have to pay so much for my clothes. You know, I dress, I guess, in some people's eyes, I dress very low. But let me speak about this. There are some people, and it is your choice to be this way. You dress very nice. You know, if this fits you, okay. If it doesn't, okay. But there are some people, there may be some people who dress very nice. like buy very expensive clothes buy expensive cars or i guess it really depends on your income bracket to say what is expensive what is not expensive so let's say probably expensive for them like buying a lot of nice clothes cars uh, electronics stuff like that but is it putting you in bondage there may be some rich people but I believe average people are trying to live this life. I would probably say above their means or higher than what they should. I hope this makes sense. I think so many people are so concerned about people perceiving them as successful or doing well or having a lot of money to where people will, I guess in some cases, spend all their money or most of their money to show someone they are something they are not. Please listen to what I am saying. And back in the past, years ago, for some reasons, I used to buy very, very nice clothes, like uh, urban designer clothes, like, I wanted to be seen as like, I wanted to be admired. I wanted to be looked upon in a high way and some other reasons as well. So I would spend so much money on clothes so much on image and i really regret those days at a certain period of time like i think i had like back in 2000 
five. What year was that? Seven, 2007 or six? I think it was 2007. I made very poor choices and I may have had like $20 in my bank account, very low. I made very, very bad choices. Some people may be praying to God. God, please give me more money. You know, please, blah, blah, blah. But if God were to give you more money and you are not disciplined with, or you are not disciplined with money, how will giving more money to you help you? Uh, I believe if this is the case for you, I believe you put yourself in bondage. It is you. People can help you. People can help you. People can help you, but you keep on taking yourself back into bondage. Because I went somewhere and I was shocked. I went to a very, very poor country. And I saw this family. There was the daughter, the son, and the mom. The son really, really nice clothes, really expensive shoes. Very, very expensive shoes. Like, more expensive than mine. <laughs> the daughter very has very nice clothes. Like, dress as if, like... If you saw her on the street, you probably would say, hey, this woman has money. Very dressed, very nicely. But if you look at where they live, trashy. Sometimes they don't have much food to eat. Sometimes, if I am saying this right, sometimes they don't eat in a day or more. If I am saying that right. But on the other hand, I'm not so sure about the mom, but I believe she dresses nicely at times too. But what I am thinking about, place your priorities in order. I believe they are so concerned about image. I believe they are concerned about people seeing them like, hey, I'm not poor. How can I say this? I believe they want to be viewed as somebody as if they have something based upon their outward appearance. But are they so concerned about their appearance to where they don't really care about where they live, to where they don't really care about if they eat every day. What's wrong with wearing very low clothes? What's, what's wrong with saving your money for the future? Why do you have to spend so much on clothes to wear, if this is true about you, to wear you don't have enough money at the end of the month or toward the end of the month? Why do you have to live check by check? Or like there are days before the month to where you are broke. 
Why do you have to live that way? It shows, even in that poor country, it shows, I guess they get money or they get something to afford those things or to get those things, I would assume. But what are you doing with it? Are you just, let me say it like this, clothes, no matter how expensive they are, Let me say some clothes, I believe, after a while of wearing them, wearing them, wearing them, I believe they are going to wear. I mean, like, mess up after time. What am I trying to say? You making your own self broke. Listen. When you dress up nice and spend all your money on appearance and whatever else like that, you may get compliments. Is compliments worth struggling? Back in the past, based upon how I would dress and, you know, I used to work out and Make sure, you know, muscles and all that mess like that. Like, I would get compliments. But for everything I spent, it was not worth it. I believe so many people are buying so much to wear... If this is true about you, I believe so much people are buying so much to where if they lose their job, they would probably lose their house, lose the car, lose, like they are so, it's like they are one step close from falling off the edge. Why would you put yourself in that position? Is your self-esteem so low to where you need someone's words to build you up every time? Are you that way? Do you need compliments so much to where without them, you will be so depressed and whatever else? So let's say you spend all that money for words of let's say compliments and stuff like that you need to fix that I like to travel I'm not going to work no two three four five jobs to do something that I can do with one job perhaps if I manage my money well, if that makes, I hope this makes sense. Let me sacrifice wearing low clothes. Let me sacrifice with eating low food. Let me sacrifice in saving money so I can do things I really want to do other than having to beg because I squandered my money, was not smart with my money. I got, for instance, and in, for an example, which is not true about me, I got tons of clothes in the closet. I have 500 pairs of shoes. I have a, a Mercedes Benz. I have all these nice things, but I am broke. What sense is that, man? That is, to me, I believe that is folly. And you sit there, if this is true about you, and you sit there praying to God, asking for more money, and if God send you more money, you would do the same thing all over again. You are, I believe you are your worst enemy.
I believe you are. You are not disciplined. Structure your life in a way to where you are not hurting yourself. I like nice things, but I don't like to put myself in a position where it's going to hurt me. I know I don't want to work two, three jobs. For what? For stuff? For things that is going to rot and or decay or wear or whatever else like that? No. Let me be smart. In essence, I pretty much have told my wife, if you buy everything that everyone else is buying, like if you are, if your spending habits is like everyone else, how is that going to help you? If you don't have much money, but you spending your money on on this and that and this and that and you broke you break yourself before the end of the month or you don't have any money now how is that going to benefit you how yes this woman can say you look pretty this man can say you look handsome or or pretty vice versa or whatever you can get compliments but is it worth going broke is it worth going door to door asking for money because you are not disciplined it's not that i guess in some cases with some people it's not that you don't get money you just very unwise with money. I hope this is all making sense. Live under your means. Live under your means. You don't have to be the best dressed person in the world. You don't have to buy Gucci and Prada when you are making under around around $25,000 or something like that. What are you doing wearing Prada and stuff like that? Spending like you getting probably $400 a week or something. And let's say that you buying heels for $600. What are you doing? Like you get all these heels, $600, $500. 200 300 you get a closet full of dresses 100 200 300 and you complain if this is true about you or similar to you and you complain about being broke and stuff stop your spending habits i hope this makes sense you are spending, if this is true about you, you are spending on image, but you doing it is placing you in bondage. I believe um, some married couples divorce. Why? I believe one of the reasons is money, right? trying to live possibly trying to live above your means or higher than what you can really handle why do that i believe some family members might have so much struggles with each other i believe one of the reasons is money be disciplined. I think some of the things we pray to God about, we can fix if we choose to do the right thing. So I hope this makes sense. God bless you.